hold on, hold on. Let me take a sip. Okay. <laughs> We're learning shit, okay? <laughs> we are learning. <laughs> We're getting it. My Take eyes care. are barely open, so let me have a little bit of my sad coffee this morning. At least there was milk because I went to Trader Joe's yesterday. Well, thank God for that. Okay, so this is new. Yeah. We're we're trying it out. It's not yeah. bad. I think it looks better than our normal. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's not. <laughs> we're a let's fan. Not, let's not admit that so early, though. Right. right. Okay. We'll ease into this. <laughs> Just a Good little morning. bit of minimal setup today. We were working on top. We've been talking about this shit for weeks. Yes. yes. <laughs> Good morning. It's Happy here. Wednesday. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Anything exciting happened this week so far? Um, I've just been supremely busy. It's school vacation week, oh, so the kids oh, yeah. are home, mm -hmm. and uh, they're actually less annoying while they're here because I don't get sent to the school and have to go pick them up every seven minutes <laughs> in construction. Yeah. We just all of a sudden had no road yesterday. That was good. I felt like I, I was getting in a wagon and going into the Oregon Trail to go get my <laughs> children. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is like that? Typhus on the way home. <laughs> Get bitten by a rattlesnake. That's it. <laughs> Throwing people out the back of the wagon. Oh one body God. bag at a time. That's what I felt like yesterday. And I know I'm very much over-exaggerating, but that's what it felt like. Okay. It's my um, truth. But we're halfway through. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> That's great. Yep. So uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to take them to uh, Newport today just because we bought that mansion um, membership. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, we'll just go do that today. So do the take... audio tour. Those yeah, are free. Right. You like learn the whole time. I don't know if it's free or what, for $6. Like just do it because at least. You have an understanding of what you're looking at. I suppose Lily, like, this is a crazy room. Lily is dressing up like an Edwardian Victorian child. So that's not even the right era. It, it is about the same uh, as gilded far as age? the Gilded Age is American. Okay. The other ones are the other European right. ages. Okay. So she's okay. that's what she wants to do just so she can pop out of random places and scare people. This is her <laughs> plan today. <laughs> Like okay. she's a ghost. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. I fully support it. There's some weird energy. The top floor, second floor, the marble house with the bathrooms and there's like the nursery. There's some weird energy in there. Yeah. I like, yeah. I don't really know what I want her to stir up, but um, go for it, girl. <laughs> we'll have hitchhikers home. <laughs> Great. I was thinking like a ghost, but yeah, that too. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> like, the ghost. like, yeah, I could see Lily's the kind of girl they would just like attach to her soul and be like, I'm yours now, and just yep. walk with her <laughs> I live through here. life. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There you go. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to get into today. Should be interesting. That's How fun. about you? Um, Nothing. I had, had nothing had nothing going on. I did have a date on Monday night. Oh. It was the first time. I'm very proud of myself because I've had so much anxiety about this. So. Yeah. I'm very proud that I went and did it. It was the first time I've like met a complete stranger that I met online at a bar. Um, 10 out of 10, don't recommend. Uh, like, <laughs> I was like, you're the girl that leaves someplace because you don't have parking. Like, Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, that seems like a lot of anxiety you put yourself out there for. Uh, yeah. It, and I've been putting it off to like jump into this wagon for lack of a better term. But I was like. Fine. Like, I'm going to go. It's a Monday night. Everything will be empty. You don't have to worry about, like, parking or, like, seat at, seats at the bar. Like, you know, let me rattle off these 14 other things that would stress me out just by meeting yeah. somebody. And it was great until he said, you know, I tried to find you on social media and I couldn't. And all I kept thinking was, we have a podcast. If you can't find me on social media, we're not yeah, doing it. Yeah, that we're doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, aren't you aren't you our media manager? Yes. <laughs> yes. I really was like, okay, this date is like definitely not gonna go anywhere. But thank God I had this. So I realized that like something is wrong with our social media. If all right, we just get to work. <laughs> this Thanks, random bud. stranger has my name and has that I have a radio show and can't find it. That's like, great. Or so, he's not or he's a quitter. 
Or he doesn't actually really care. Or he's just a dumb boy, probably one of the combinations. All of the above. Yes. <laughs> it's a combination. Yeah. <laughs> he was also the kind of guy that, like, he his first picture for his online profile, he was holding up a fish. But the fish was, like, the size of a water bottle. <laughs> so I, I like the reality fishing story. Well, I thought it was, like, funny. Like, I thought it was ironic, right? Like, it's his first picture. I figured he was, like, making fun. You know, he's, like, from right. the team, whatever. I figured he was, like, making fun of it. And then halfway through the date, I realized, like, oh, no, 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 he was being serious. Like, you get to know his personality. And he's, like, he's no sense of humor. And I was, like, oh, no, 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 that's. That was like a very, that was like a, you were like proud of that little water bottle fish. <laughs> so needless to, to say. It was um, an experience. <laughs> won't be doing that again. Next. Uh, but um, yeah, we did, like, we did learn that um, I need to pick up my game in social media because apparently nobody can find us. Perfect. So, so, things learned, With that, things taken away. Let's get into what's we'll, roasting. That's it. Thank God. <laughs> well, I know. Well, what is roasting? So uh, we have to talk about the Jesse James stuff. It's okay. blowing up. Do you have a take on it? No. Before? Okay. So it's not even Jesse James. It's Jesse James Ducker's sister, who's also okay. married to like a major league baseball player. Somebody. They. She's pregnant. She's got a couple of kids, and she was on a United flight, I think. Um. And the, on the flight, they gave her little kids popcorn. And then they told her, the mom, I don't remember what's her name. Sydney Ray? Yes, thank no, you. No, that's the kid, right? No, that's... No, the her two kids sister. are Blair and Brooklyn. I think okay. Sydney is the sister. Okay. So I guess um, she's five months pregnant, and she's traveling alone with her two kids. And the flight attendants made her in whatever i mean we don't really know what the context was but made her get down on the floor and like pick up the popcorn after her kids on this plane that the united team gave the popcorn to her kids yeah two and five and it's obviously blowing up the internet and creating a very divisive conversation like well it's your responsibility to pick up you after your kids but also like do you not have a cleaning cleaning crew united like is there a line here like of course we want people to pick up your kids after your kids but like she's five months pregnant and she's traveling with two little ones like is there not a little bit of grace there yeah i don't know i mean any given day somebody has made a decision to be their not best self so i'm sure that flight attendant is a little bit culpable and i'm sure so is the the jesse james situation i feel like you should have done your best to clean up after your kid yeah Without or having to be like or, told, like, yeah, oh, like I tried to clean that up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there are there are definitely ways this could have been handled better on both sides. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's just really the meat of the story is just really do your freaking best to clean up after yourself, yeah, and then the apologize story. profusely. I'm sure this never would have been a story. He says that the captain wants Sydney to clean up every drop and handed her a trash bag with a wet wipe. And then yeah. she ended up on her hands and knees crying in the aisle, obviously humiliated and exhausted. That's awful. And everybody else watched her do yeah. it. Yeah. And she's not famous enough where, like, it would be a make an example of kind of yeah. a thing. So I don't really understand why it became the story it did. Or, like, why it happened. Like, I get the humiliation. Because that flight attendant was an asshole. That it happens yeah. sometimes. I feel yeah, like I wonder... there's issues on both sides here. Yeah, I agree. I think parents should probably make an attempt. I mean, what what do I know? You make an attempt to pick up. I am so embarrassed. I stopped dining at anything. I stopped leaving the house because I knew my kids just wouldn't do anything. I'm like 99 or nothing for like five years because I had three kids under five. Like it was an absolute petting zoo. I that's not fun. (laughs) (laughs) So we are acutely and keenly attuned to what our children are doing in public and we are embarrassed we don't choose this (laughs) how do you like expose your kids to stuff and expose them to different situations and get them to have that responsibility without putting them in there yes it's without like eating that embarrassment a little bit. yeah it sucks (laughs) sorry moms and dads oh my god story sucks i was in New Orleans years ago and I was sitting at like a really nice bar having like a nice cocktail and there was an incredible couple next to me at the bar with like their toddler like two or three and she was 
perfectly well behaved. Mm-hmm. She had like a little snack and a coloring book and she was hanging out. And the parents were like, yeah, we just take her everywhere. She does this. She's we she, we get her to behave. She's fine. And, and some of course, kids are like that. Yeah. Yeah. She was really funny. She was like, I can't drink Slim 21. I was like, you're two. You got a long way to go. But like, it was, <laughs> she, it was, she was just rolling with it. It was yeah. pretty funny. So, I, you know, I think there's that like double end. Like you got to expose kids, but then you got to like also be aware of your societal surroundings. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'm not a parent. I don't know. Well, I've babysat kids at bars before, so don't ask me. I told you we got asked <laughs> in Scotland. <laughs> That's so funny. I Seriously, legit. A mother was just like, will you watch my baby? And then tunneled off somewhere. And I'm like, right, is this a joke? Am I being punked? <laughs> I have a picture of it. It's Jackson with an X. I have his photo still. I put him on Instagram. That's, Cliff gave oh, him that's... a Coke. <laughs> that poor parent. Cliff. Dad. That kid had no problem asking for what he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and it was oh. like three. <laughs> so, funny. yeah, it is in how you raise them and where you raise them. <laughs> All right. Well, on. big more big news to come out. McDonald's is changing some of their recipes. OK, so I don't know. They're making their Big Mac cheesier and more caramelized and softer buns. And I don't know. It's like kind of big news. I feel like. This has been like the tried and true. Like you go to these places because it's the same every time and it's still yeah. crap and you expect the crap. And so you buy the crap knowing it's going to be crap. And then you want the crap that it is. If it's not, really the crap that you, ex- you know, if it's not the crap you expect, then it's different. It's not even the same from when I was a kid, though, as far as what it is. And I can't tell you the last time I ate that shit, which is good. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> like, no, while, thank you. A- Change it all you want. I'd rather go to someplace local around here any day. We have so many yeah. great places. Like meet Everyone's me at the a- knack. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god, so true. Every once in a while, I have a craving for a McDonald's fry, though. There's something about um. Their fries are good, and yeah. I don't like fries. Um, you know where it's super different between countries too. Like I had McDonald's in um France when I was in Paris. Yeah. Totally different. And these are different recipes, my friend. So we're gonna be fine with the new McDonald's recipes. I just people probably I, you know, I won't just, notice. I just don't like change. It gives me stress. <laughs> Sometimes just... change is good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Bill Hader and Ali Wong have gotten back together. Interesting. And they're public. Yeah, that's an, I mean, like in theory, it makes sense to me. Yeah. But it also doesn't. It's a very odd couple, even though yeah. it like, logically makes sense. Like something about it is weird and I don't know what. That was one of my trivia questions last night. It was like season four, final season of Barry. Who's the star? And everyone was like, uh, he just has one of those names that is hard to remember. I yeah. Think. Bill Hader. I know this is totally side. Ali mm-hmm. Wong is in this new show beef and I, I it's oh, you so talk, bad. You, you hate it. Yeah. She's hysterical though. I think she's very funny. She's got that whole comedy special where she's like super, super pregnant. Yeah. That is like peer pants. Funny. I love it. And it also boss bitching. <laughs> like go girl. Yeah. Get it. Yeah, she's, she's great. I don't know why. Like I get it. They're both in comedy and like, it makes sense, but there's just something, there's something about this couple. Maybe it's they're just not a like, sexy couple. That's why. Yeah, that's what it is. Maybe it's because they're not a <laughs> particularly attractive people. They're not a sexy couple. They don't. Am I allowed to say that? Bill Hader's not, not a, a, a handsome man. He's just not. No. And I mean, both of them could be cuter with the right styling. I just, they're not a sexy couple. <laughs> That's you think why. They, you think they could be, yeah, do you think they just need new stylists? Yeah. I and think like they need actual artists? stylists. Like, I don't think that they have one at all. <laughs> <laughs> and if they do, wow, it's bad. Can you imagine, <laughs> no, how do you be don't. on a red carpet without a stylist? I. Here we are, Tori. <laughs> stylist less well, yeah they have more confidence cute i think we look great they have more confidence than i do anytime i would be like out in public like the thought of like getty images being anywhere that i am means like i i would be nervous to put i would like i immediately don't trust my opinion no. or how i look at all if there's a getty camera there everything needs that's to get funny. redone all of it change it all <laughs> No, but that's how you show growth from when you see those images start to emerge. And then you're like, oh, we can't have this. It's true. And though, like, the decades before and after people 
are the best where you see people like this was before they had money and this is now that they have money and they have a better stylist. It's yeah, great. exactly. So I think that that's what it is for me that I've diagnosed my problem with this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Joshua Jackson. Yeah, he had, he came out and said kind of a funny thing about ch- cheating. I thought it would be interesting to discuss. Yeah. What, what do you think of this? I don't, I, I was like, ew, I don't, I don't know. And I it, like Joshua Jackson. It feels icky. Something about it right? feels icky. And it feels almost like he's like justifying it. Yeah. He says, um, I think an affair can be forgiven. We're all grown ups. No one wants to be cheated on. And there's a massive repair to be done. Affairs aren't about the partner. They're about the person who has transgressed. It's not purely about the sex. There's a deeper violation. Like, well, yeah. 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 Uh, Why was he asked about it, though? That's what is, like, weird. Like, out of context, it, I feel it like was, this is. Uh, yeah, and I just didn't I understand. I don't know why I'm talking like Yoda, but sorry. <laughs> no, but it's true. <laughs> My brain is processing today. Perfect. Right? No, but it's true. And I also would love to know what, like, went through his head where he thought, like, that was a good perspective to put on a public platform like yeah he was with somebody for 10 years and then their relationship ended and now he's with somebody else like if it was my boyfriend or my husband and came out on tv and was like i don't know i just don't i think affairs can be forgiven and i think they can move on i'd be like you come home and i'd be like what did you do well i mean to be to be fair he was being interviewed for a new tv series fatal attraction on paramount plus so it does go along with the storyline of the show so i I do understand why he wagered what he said because maybe it was something that has been obviously on his brain because he's been shooting the show and that's really what it's about. Sure, but I don't think I would let that opinion be the one that's public. <laughs> like right. those are the words that we in- say inside of our head, not Correct. outside of our mouth. <laughs> have whatever conversations you want amongst your relationship, and then you talk to the Times and you say cheating is bad because you right. go home and you want to have public support for your relationship <laughs> and for your wife or your girlfriend I- or whatever it is. I see that's why you dislike this, but I can see why he said it also. So, and I mean, we're every time I see him, I just think of Dawson's Creek. So it's really hard for me yeah. to even realize he's a grown man until I saw him at the last award show with his stunning wife. And the way he like grabbed her was almost like an animal. And I was like, there's a lot there <laughs> as I'm watching it. And I was like, I know it was the most male I'd ever seen him. Huh. And I, I don't know. I th- he just gives off very, alpha male vibes anyway so it's bizarre that this is the clip i feel i feel like i haven't seen him in pop culture stuff enough to like really get a vibe and yeah. this one isn't great personally yeah. like I, I just and i maybe it's because i also because i don't agree like when he says like it's about the person who transgressed it like of course a lot of that is true but i also think too it's also like an indicator of the dynamic among uh, within the relationship and communication and how you show up in that relationship and how you feel about it which is part of why you step outside of that relationship, right? So I feel like it's like a very simple answer that should just not have been said. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hate it as much as I originally hated it, but... Oh, I think I feel like I hate it more, so that's great. Ah! (laughs) It's a draw. All right, so are we ready for our weird news story? Yes, absolutely. So I was looking at this one and I want to share it just because it, it's coming out of Massachusetts, not too far away, by the way, Duxbury. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the, right there. Yeah. Mass police shared a photo of a flooded car reminding beachgoers to read the tide signs. Oh, now, I really God. wish I could drop this in our conversation here, but <laughs> I will just show you this photo, which made me laugh. Hold up your computer. <laughs> Oh my God, what an idiot. Like, you've got to be a special kind of dumbass to do that. <laughs> you, especially like a coastal New England town, really? Uh, exactly. So uh, th- they're making jokes about paying in sand dollars and whatnot. Nice try, Whitman police. You're not funny. But I did laugh at one of the things that people don't notice when you live in a coastal town is probably read the signs around you, which said. Oh, or know how to read a tide chart in any capacity. Or maybe or- read the sign that says, oh, no parking here. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like, yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> There's a reason why it says oh no parking God. beyond this point. 
It's not just a suggestion. <laughs> That's really funny. I know. It reminds me of a couple weeks ago, maybe like a month ago, there was a thing circulating on Facebook about um, a few adults and some little kids that got stuck out on Wing Island. Yep. And they said that the tide was coming in, so they needed like a fire rescue, but all the firefighters that were like hauling up these little kids were in like shin deep water. <laughs> <laughs> and of course facebook like ripped them apart like that's great that's our tax really? dollars you could have walked all the way yeah they just right. didn't want to get their shoes wet you know hysterical yeah tis the season bring on the tourists we can't wait oh my god well yes we can just a few more weeks just exactly just give us a little time to acclimate to this all right a while longer <laughs> I know it's a shorty episode, but you and I both have things to do and it is school vacation. So that's it. And I also like, I'm nervous to test this technology further. I feel like every second yeah. that it's working, it's a miracle. Ah! So, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we did a great job today, given what we were given. I we're think gonna it's wonderful. Keep, we're going to keep it as it is. That's it. Get perky look, with us. Above us. Wait, look above us. Can you see it? Look at, look at. Those are right? our socials. Small so shout them out, but they're right <laughs> here, which is so cool. Um, all the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at the First Shot Morning Show. I'm Troy Talks a lot. Find me in all the things that, that way, right? Nope. That way. I don't know how these things <laughs> I'm work Stephanie yet. in the that morning. That way, Stephanie that in the way. morning. <laughs> all right. We'll see you Friday.